Hello and welcome to my haiku writing workshop. I call it haikuing the river. We're going to be writing haiku poetry and it's a lot of fun to write poetry. You can invent words like haikuing, for example. Uh, a haiku is a word sketch. It's like doing a drawing, only you're doing it with words. And it has a particular form. It's just a three-line poem. It has 17 syllables with five syllables in the first line, seven in the second, and five in the third. And what is a syllable? A syllable is a sound within a word. Some words have one syllable. Some words have two or three or four syllables. So here's a haiku I wrote. It's a very windy day, so I thought it might be appropriate. Eagles ride the wind high above the cottonwoods, eyes on the river. And that's where we are. We're at the Living River in Clay County, at Clay County Park. It's a wonderful place to come and write haikus, a very special place. But haikus can be written anywhere. And in fact, the haiku is a very old form of poetry. It was first written by Japanese poets. And here's a haiku that was written by a poet named Moritake 500 years ago. The falling flower I saw drift back to the branch was a butterfly. Have you ever seen something that you thought maybe was a bird? You, you thought you saw a bird. A lot of times that happens on the river. I'll think I see a bird and then it turns out to be just a piece of driftwood. Well, as you can see, the poem by Moritake has this form of the five, seven, and five syllables. Now, another way you can uh, learn about the haiku, at least figure out the sounds, is to just clap your hands. You could go, the falling flower, that's five slaps. I saw drift back to the branch, seven, was a butterfly, five again. So try that. Now you need to have a pencil and a piece of paper uh, handy because you need to try writing haikus and think about that. Uh, here are a couple of haikus I wrote. Um, and I think what these show is the history of the Missouri River. You know, this is the longest river in the United States. And it has been used for a very long time for travel. The indigenous people used canoes traveling on this river. And it has been also a source of food. Uh, so here, my first poem I'm showing you here, Haiku Serpentine River, Grand Road East to Missouri, Roiling Dream Shaper. It's a rather dangerous river in some places. It has whirlpools, snags, but on the other hand, it's a grand road and it's a wonderful for canoeing. And um, you know, it has a great history with not only the indigenous people, but the fact that Lewis and Clark came to this very spot on the Missouri in 1804 at the request of President Thomas Jefferson because of the Louisiana Purchase and he wanted to know more about the people, the indigenous people who lived along the river and asked them to do this journey and find out about the life on the river. There's a lot of interesting life in the river, very old. The boneless paddlefish, for example, lived as early as 300 million years ago, before the age of the dinosaurs. So here's my poem about the paddlefish. 
boneless paddlefish with sieve like gill rakers trap microscopic food. What an interesting animal that is. So um, there's a lot to learn about the Missouri River. And not only about the Missouri River is there a lot to learn, there's a lot to learn from all the nature around you. And over the years, 15 years ago, we began these River Appreciation Days. And some of the best poems written here at the river were by people your age, fifth and sixth graders, who wrote poems like these. Oh, piping plover, you are so small in your nest on the riverside. And then here's another. Change is in my hair, gray cat cloud thunder in my hair. Bees are in my hair. Sometimes bees come to this workshop at the river where uh, we are. Today is a day of change. It's the first day of spring. There is a lot of wind, but we're enjoying our time here on the river. Now it's time for you to write haikus. I hope you'll write it first on paper. That'll be your rough draft. And then write it on this little bamboo boat that you're receiving. You, you'll receive one that has nothing on it, and then you can add your three-line poem, your haiku, and your name. This one was written by Grace Freeman, who had this wonderful idea of River Appreciation Day. River wide, flowing, from the Pacific Ocean to Mississippi. And that's by Grace. And so write your name uh, after your poem. And so keep writing haikus. Don't just write them for a river day. Write them at home. Write them in the classroom. Enjoy writing poetry.